guys and welcome back to my channel so today I will be doing another tutorial for you in which I will be showing you how to mirror your Android screen device into your computer so basically you can what's happening on your Android you can see it live on your PC screen so the first thing what you want to do is head over to this website mobizen.com after you went on this site you have to make an account with your email and password so you will have to log in and this option gives you two, two choices you can rather um, mirror your screen wirelessly or through the USB cable so if you wanna uh, do it wirelessly there is a bit of a more lag than it is through USB cable so if you wanna choose this way the wireless way you just only log in here with your account and then you put all, uh, and then you install an app on your phone as well and then you connect it wirelessly through your internet and then you only need an uh, internet browser you don't need, need any uh, programs on your computer just the app on your phone but if you want to use the USB uh, method you will have to download mobiles and PC so that's basically a program for your PC you connect it through USB to your computer and then there is a better uh, connection between your phone and the PC and there is a maybe not even a second lag so that's good so after you don't made an account uh, what you want to do is head over to Play Store on your on your device and search Mobizen on your phone uh, by the way I'm using uh, uh, this program Mobizen to record my screen right now so whatever what you will see now is uh, what the quality you will get of the video so as you can see we got mobiles in your Android anywhere you install this app after you install this app you wanna head over to your settings I will be using uh, I will be showing everything on how to connect through USB because uh, doing it wirelessly is just the matter of logging in uh, on your phone and on your uh, on your um, on your computer in your internet browser so after you after you went into your settings on your uh, Android device, you go into developer options, and you want to turn on USB debugging. So after you done that, I will leave my Android right now. After you done that, uh, you wanna open up this program as you can see here right now on my screen. So I can't make it now bigger because I'm recording with it. As you can see, it says one minute seven seconds, one minute eight seconds, ten. So uh, after you downloaded this piece uh, program on your computer and installed it, you will have a login in details. So basically, you just plug it in through your uh, through your um, through your what's it called? Lost my uh, through your phone. So you connect to USB cable and then you log in with the account you just made on that website. So after you done that, it should detect your device and the uh, screen should show. So if you want to record right now, you got a screen option, recording, and you can also draw on your device. So you should be able to see that on the recording. So something, we can write something, anywhere, anything you want. Uh, and that's a really good, as you can see the frame rates, there is no frame drops whatsoever. This method could be used to record gameplays, but the video will still it will record fine, but if it's high motion games, so like FPS games, some sort of shooting games, or some racing games, there it might turn out a bit laggy. So this method is best to use for some sort of app reviews or some sort of a really slow motion game. So there's not 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 a lot of happening on the screen. So I would recommend to do that type of stuff on it. If you want to really record some sort of Android gameplay, you would. The best choice is to rather root your device, and there is some sort of good apps that will record really good quality, uh, high motion games. But if you want to really the true quality of your Android device, you will have to buy an external capture card, and then from your USB uh, port on your phone, you will have a, a converter that converts it to HDMI, and then you can record it that way. So that's all, I hope the tutorial has helped you guys, if it did smack that like button, it's always appreciated and if you want to see any of my future videos, uh, click that subscribe button and I will see you later on my next video.